Hey Josh, you want to do me a favor and not show me a stain that a certain Pez dispenser made? That one there. Took us a while to find it, but we found you. Can you not show me the stain? Can you show me some other kind of stain? Sure, I'll show you a candy dispenser. What do you think about that? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you like that one? Yep, I'm proud of myself. Really am. What's really going on, Pez Collecting fans? Josh the Pez Guy here on the Pez Book channel with something from Clicks. Or Flicks. Flicks. Do me a favor, leave me your questions, comments, concerns, any and everything down below. Now then. So yeah, this is a candy dispenser that was found and given to me. And it is a pooping poop. I'm reading the directions, and they want you to clean the candy dispenser thoroughly, but they let you know to use a damp cloth and, you know, how to do it. We had to call up Pez, but we called up Pez, and we were able to make a video out of it, and they helped us out. They could have just printed it on here, but anyways, back to this. Dispenser may jam if more than seven candy treats are loaded in the dispenser. Who reads instructions? Okay, Josh does, and he's showing them to you right now, but larger, or excuse me, candies larger than the candy treats provided may also cause jamming. Try not to put anything other than same size and shaped candies into dispenser. Let's check out these candies. They're smaller than gumballs. You, you gave us a lot of them. Yeah, that's going to be easy to jam this thing. You need to individually wrap these in sections of seven. Come on, Flex. Just because it's it's poopy doesn't mean it has to be a poopy product. Huh? Cleaning up my words. You like that? All right, here we go. We're going to open this dispenser up. Extremely inappropriate there. All right. There he is on his little stand. All right. Okay, so the wind-up feature works. Let's let him wear himself out. Okay. Do his eyes move? No, they're inserted pieces. So, in here, wow, they don't give us much room. You figured there would be more room in a pile like this. There. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open up our candies. Again, if these were in packs of seven, it would be so much faster to refill them. You won't lose the candies. You won't find one at 2 a.m. in the carpet. Feeling like a, a building block or something like that. Oh, that's horrible. All right, let's follow the directions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have not rolled enough for the game. Everybody wins. Well, we have enough here for our pooper to poop. So that's as full as you're allowed to get it. It's not even at the top. Yeah, I'd be piling these things up as tall as a pile of, of poo here. All right, we will put on his head. <laughs> the joke he got it all out of him uh comes comes to mind so yeah got it all out of him on one wind maybe that's why they only want you to do seven so you don't leave candy inside of there oh we didn't clean it out first so these are tainted candies so we will leave our untainted candy over here right now but what would make these even better is if they were brown colored i mean think about it if you're going this far to make this particular item, wouldn't you make the candies brown? And for that, make them this shape. Make them this shape. I mean, I know they aren't going to roll around as much, but I'm only putting seven inside of there. Seven not round candies aren't going to... Here, let's see what it looks like when we... Oh, so the... Yeah. That's a big enough hole for some... Bigger size candy that's shaped the same way he is. Uh, 
I don't know, just my opinion. But there you go. There is a pooping pooper. Wind me up and watch me poop candy. <laughs> I'll stick with Pez. So until next time...